Hello, in this video I want to uh, show you the uh, spreadsheet that uh, calculates the discrete Fourier transform for uh, stock prices. Uh, I'll work uh, on a one minute interval and uh, this uh, program will do uh, 128 sample points and each sample point is uh, one minute apart and uh, also the one feature that's in the uh, spreadsheet is that uh, you can for uh, just testing it you can make up uh, 15 sine waves and where you input the uh, frequency of the wave the amplitude and the phase shift and uh, it will then uh, graph each of those waves, that's what this is, and uh, add them up, and you can see the uh, composite of your uh, graphs. So uh, this is the uh, data input by these uh, 15 made-up sine waves, and... Uh, you can put them in order of uh, increasing frequency. And uh, then you can see this, uh, this. This is just the addition of these uh, 15 waves. And then you add all those up and you get uh, this function. Then that function you can input to the Fourier transform. And, uh, and you get uh, this output of the uh, Fourier transform. But now that's not what we're really interested in here. What we're interested in is the stock prices. So uh, you can select either the stock to do the stocks or these 15 functions right here in this cell. It says use stock data, put a zero in for the sideways or a one for stock data. And here I've told it to use the stock data. And so you can input your 128 values of stock data in this column. And in this uh, spreadsheet, I put in uh, the uh, SPXL, which is the uh, three times volatile of the uh, S&P. From August the 14th, from 9.31, when the market opened to uh, 11.38 that morning, that makes 128 points to put in here. And uh, I believe this other graph was the composite of that stock data. But uh, I know what you're really interested in is the... Uh, actual uh, what are the waves composite waves that make up uh, that curve so let me see if i can zoom out here i'm gonna have to do some tricks here with the windows there we go okay now let me see if i can zoom out a little bit so we can see more so uh, here's the composite stock wave. That, that, this is the output of the uh, transform. And then here you can see the exp uh, results of the transform. And uh, these are all the waves. I believe there's 64 waves here that make up the composite curve of the actual stock prices. And you see it was going down here. Now, this is a little bit hard to, I mean, you really can't see anything here. So the actual waves that we're interested in are these bigger amplitude waves, which have the uh, lower frequencies. So uh, if I just went into this chart and deleted those higher frequencies, I get this. So that's a little bit easier to read. So this uh, curve is actually uh, made up of these uh, 
individual, the sum of these individual sine waves. So uh, it's kind of hard to uh, make it out, but you, you can see that uh, it's a well known fact that uh, the uh, price goes up when the uh, dips uh, coincide other ways. And we can see here's a dip of this one that seems to coincide with this dip in the price. And uh, so this this dip and the dip in this one is pretty much coincide. And uh, then we can see where the influence of uh, this one coming down causes this uh, dip in price. And uh, also seem to coincide with the peak in this curve. So uh, it's a matter of learning to read these uh, individual ways that have been extracted from this uh, stock price. Let's look at that. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit here and see if that's possible to see that. Of course, uh, here it's going up, but this one's going down, so looks like we started down and went over the top here. And then it really starts down big time here when this one goes below the axis. The biggest side wave goes down, and uh, this one, it seems like... Uh, we get the turnaround point when this after the just after this one starts up and this one uh, bottoms it out. So really, I guess these two probably would give the uh, uh, results that we need. What we're looking for in order to rent and buy and sell. So that's this uh, program. It's a uh, I suppose this is what you would call the Elliott waves of the uh, market. It's uh, this scientifically. This is the the uh, Fourier transform. It's just a mathematical process which Fourier came up with to extract the cycles, individual cycle sine waves, from the uh, a composite curve. From a, a, a waveform. It's highly used in electrical design analysis. Here we go again. So there's the, there you can see the uh, stock price. All right, that concludes this video.